click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the biomolecules as well as we have also discussed about the few examples of the biomolecules and out of which we have also discussed about that is carbohydrate. That is, in this topic I am going to talk about the carbohydrates as well as we are going to talk about the classification of carbohydrates. So now let us understand the meaning as well as the classification of it. friends now let us talk about the carbohydrates so that is carbohydrates are the optically active polyhydroxy aldehyde or the polyhydroxy ketones or they could also be defined as the compounds that can be hydrolyzed to polyhydroxy aldehyde or polyhydroxy ketones and those compounds are basically known as carbohydrates and this is what i'm going to talk about with the help of an example also for example if we talk about that is glucose so now let me give you a small detail about it so friends this is the structural formula for glucose so here you can see that is there are multiple OH group that is here you can find OH here you can find OH so these are known as hydroxyl groups so therefore nothing but a carbohydrate is nothing but a polyhydroxy aldehyde so in this case glucose is nothing but an aldehyde so therefore this is an example of a carbohydrate that is it is a polyhydroxy aldehyde or it could be a polyhydroxy ketone or such compounds which on hydrolysis will give us polyhydroxy aldehyde or polyhydroxy ketones so those are known as carbohydrates but now here we are going to talk about the classification also so now let us understand the classification of carbohydrates so now let's talk about the classification of carbohydrates so carbohydrates are basically classified into two types and those two types are simple and complex carbohydrates so the simple carbohydrate is also known as monosaccharide while talking about the complex carbohydrates so complex carbohydrates are again classified into two types and the two types are oligosaccharide and polysaccharide so now let us talk about the simple carbohydrates or that is monosaccharides so monosaccharides are those saccharides or those carbohydrates that cannot be further hydrolyzed so based on that we have certain definition and certain example and now let me talk about the complex carbohydrates so complex carbohydrates as we have understood that is they have been divided into two types that is oligosaccharides and polysaccharides so here the oligosaccharide is dependent upon the number of the carbohydrates that are being produced whenever this compounds are basically hydrolyzed so based on that polysaccharides are also such compounds which on hydrolysis provides n number of that is carbohydrates but talking about the simple carbohydrates simple carbohydrates are again classified into two types and the two types are alloses and ketoses so what is the definition of aldose what is the definition of ketose what are monosaccharides what are oligo and what are polysaccharides so this is what i'm going to talk about in this topic so now let's start with the first one that is simple or we could also call it as monosaccharide so talking about monosaccharides so a carbohydrate that cannot be hydrolyzed further to give simpler units of polyhydroxy aldehyde or polyhydroxy ketones are known as monosaccharides for example if you talk about glucose so glucose is such a compound which cannot be further hydrolyzed and that's the reason that it cannot produce the polyhydroxy aldehyde or polyhydroxy ketone so such compounds are basically known as monosaccharides which are itself a polyhydroxy ketone or polyhydroxy aldehyde but they cannot be further hydrolyzed so this was nothing but an example of a glucose and in that case we understood that it is nothing but an aldehyde but talking about the other one that is for fructose so fructose is basically a polyhydroxy ketone so these are the two compounds and there are many other compounds also which are in the category of the carbohydrates but they cannot be further hydrolyzed so those compounds are known as monosaccharides and now let me talk about the next one and now let me talk about the classification of monosaccharides monosaccharides are basically divided into two types that is aldose and ketose so talking about aldoses that is the monosaccharides containing aldehyde that is CHO as a functional group are called as aldoses and even these aldoses are basically divided into the further types that is aldotriose, aldotetrose, aldopentose and aldohexose so based on that we have a certain topic related to the aldos in the future that is what we will discuss and now let me discuss about the another type of the monosaccharide so the other type that is I'm going to talk about the monosaccharide is ketoses. So monosaccharides containing ketone that is C double bond O as the functional group are called as ketoses. 
so again they are basically further divided into keto triose keto pentose keto tetrose and keto hexose so there is also a detail that is what i'm going to talk about in the future lecture and now let me discuss about the classification of the complex carbohydrates that is oligosaccharides and polysaccharides so talking about the oligosaccharides we have that is the Carbohydrates that yield 2 to 10 monosaccharides units on hydrolysis are called as oligosaccharides. And even they are classified into various types that is disaccharide, trisaccharide, tetrasaccharide. So in that case, disaccharide means such compounds which on hydrolysis it will produce two carbohydrates and those compounds are known as disaccharides. For example, if you talk about sucrose, so sucrose is basically known as a disaccharide and it comes in the, the category of oligosaccharide because that compound whenever it gets hydrolysis it will produce two monosaccharide and that's the reason that is the sucrose and suppose if you talk about the other one salivios so in that case these two are the carbohydrates that gives two monosaccharides and now let me discuss about the next one so talking about the other classification of the complex carbohydrate that is polysaccharides so what are polysaccharides the carbohydrates which yield a large number of monosaccharide units on hydrolysis are called as polysaccharides so such kind of polysaccharides or such kind of carbohydrates are basically tasteless they are amorphous in nature and talking about the number of the more than 100 to 3000 monosaccharides can be produced whenever the that carbohydrate it undergoes through hydrolysis for example if you talk about that is starch if you talk about cellulose so these are the certain carbohydrates or these are the certain compounds which on hydrolysis gives a large number of monosaccharides so therefore this was all nothing but the carbohydrates as well as the classification of carbohydrates so that's it thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you so much